TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. And by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Right behind me, you see it? Just a little warning screen, just in case. Twitch.com is where you can catch a live stream, usernames at the bottom. And don't forget, we got Patreon Monday through Sunday. Ten videos a week, almost, including Premier League highlights. This is Dylan. Dylan Page. Never, it's the first time watching him. Salute. Uh, talk to me though. This is uh, the fallout from Young Philly arrest will be insane. Hmm. I got a lot to say, man. I got a lot to say. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Remember, if this is your channel and I'm reacting to it and you don't want it on there, just leave a comment. I will see the comment and I'll take it off, buddy. Anyway, let's watch this. This morning, the world woke up in shock after yet another YouTuber, this time Young Philly, is facing very serious allegations. Not only was he arrested today, but he was also charged with a woman in her 20s in a hotel room in Perth. And honestly, the fallout from this could be insane because not only is he part of this huge friendship group of some of the biggest creators in the world, but he also works with some of the- None of them are gonna mess with him. Not, not, a, not a single one. I don't care how how far they st the friendships thing back, unless they was a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Which I, I highly doubt. You know what I'm saying? But they cannot take that risk when they're trying to provide for their families to, to associate themselves. And it's messed up. You know what I'm saying? Bro got money. He got power. He got respect. He got influence. Bro, you could get any girl that you wanted. Any girl that you want. At this point in your life, bro, pay, pay. <laughs> I ain't even go lie, pay. Pay so there's no confusion. This is why rich people be paying for it, because this type of stuff be happening. You can't mess with no average run of the mill every day. Oh, let me go just let me go to the club and let me go lock in with a female, a random female. No. No, you got to mess with a celebrity. You got to mess with a celebrity or you got go pay, brother. Because now you bad, down bad. You paying for discretion, discretion and you paying for uh, 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 this not to happen. And even if he didn't do it, even if he did not do it, the damage is done. Just like Dutch Avelli. he tried. Now it's not the same situation, but it's the the dirt is on your name, brother. The dirt is on your name. And sure, we all probably want to hear your side of the story, but at the same time, man, is it just one? Is it? Just, let me hear. Biggest brands as well, like BBC, ITV. Brother had. BBC, Adobe, Captain Morgan, ITV, down, get yeah, down, bad, this is bad. Meta and even charities like the Prince's Trust. Are his friends gonna defend him or abandon him? Will brands decide to drop him? Did he even do it? Well, that is all what we're gonna go over today. Now, I'm a small YouTube channel. I definitely deleted all of it. The Chicago man in me is not going for none of that type stuff. That is not it. <laughs> So, like the video and let's get Now, similar to America, Australia is made up of different states with their different laws. And prosecutors allege that this incident happened at a hotel room after performing at a nightclub uh, in Perth for his Australia. What I just say, you can't just pull nobody from the crowd at the nightclub. <laughs> you can't do that. You, you, you. Well, you got to step lightly. 
Australia tour. So, because of this, they actually had to extradite him back to the state that this happened. And as you can see, this is the video of him in an airport coming back from Queensland, what? Brisbane, where he was at, uh, to Western Australia to face trial. And as you can see, he's handcuffed there, being led by a couple of police officers and put into a car. Now, before we go into details of... Now, I will say, like, depending on what his side of the story is, this is a very... This is salvageable. Women do this. I had two friends that, that, that this happened to. And I stepped back from them. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I stepped back. And then come to... They told me their side of the story. And I was like, okay. They went to trial. Turns out that they were telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time... This is, this is tough what was alleged in court that actually happened and warning because they're pretty gruesome. I feel like for anyone who isn't as familiar with young Philly needs to understand the magnitude of this because him being arrested is not just going to affect his career deeply, but you have millions of his followers that look up to him. He's also part of this huge friendship group in the UK that are some of the biggest creators in the world, like the Sidemen, the Beta Squad. He's got a podcast with Chunks. He's also doing a lot of work in traditional TV, like he's got his own show with the BBC called Hot Pro Property. He's got another show with Channel 4 and Harry Pinero called The Philly and Harry Show. He's featured in a bunch of Simon videos, some of which have got over 80 million views, and his dedicated ones with them have over 40 million views. He played in the Soccer Aid match on ITV. He was in the... Let me, let me stop you right here, buddy. Uh, and this is, this, is, this is what I noticed about a lot. This is like the content creator curse. I don't know no nothing about Philly's past or anything like that, but I, I will say this, man. It, it, as a content creator, you can go from you can go from being a nobody to being famous overnight. You know what I'm saying? And with that, you skip a lot of steps in life. You don't build character. You know what I'm saying? You you go you go from being an absolutely a fly on the wall to being a, the main character, and 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 that's a that's a recipe for downfall. I call that the content creator curse, man. That's why I like that I'm a little older, man. So if it do happen for me, like, if it do, if I get on the right trajectory, like, I, I, I've been through life. I've been through real life. I got, this is the point I'm trying to make. You going to take it how you want to. I've always got females. Never had an issue. Never. Never in life. So, so. For somebody who, I don't know about Philly's body of work, but, but somebody who doesn't get females, who gets thrust upon this, who gets put out in the world like this, they become, they, they get to expecting it. Because they get all oh, these women are throwing themselves at me, blah, blah, blah. Now they come to expect it, but they have no character. They have no real, what y'all call it, risk. They have no charisma. They have nothing. So when they get all this attention, they get to not understanding what yes and no means. <laughs> it's insane. Hey, he could be. Hey, listen. At the end of the day, we don't know who he was as a as a high schooler when character was really being f built. I don't care what nobody say. High school builds character. <laughs> Philly the Diddler is crazy. Great celebrity Bake Off. He's got his own music, which gets millions of streams every month, and he goes on tours as he was doing in Australia, always working with massive brands. Like he's got his own sauce with Heinz. He's worked with Meta, the British military, Adobe. He got his own sauce. <laughs> he should have kept that sauce in his pants. Really. Captain Morgan and a bunch of others, and he even works with charities like Stand Up to Cancer and even the Prince's Trust to inspire young people to chase their dreams. So, point is, the fallout for someone like this that is working with and affiliated to so many different people and brands, all of them are probably going to try and desperately now try and protect their own public reputation. Exactly. But we'll get back to that side of things in a second, because today he appeared in court where he's been charged with four counts of sexual penetration without consent, three counts four counts counts of assault occasioning bodily harm and one charge of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation by applying pressure to their neck aka
a strangling. He couldn't have just said that. And the prosecutors even attempted to oppose Young Philly's bail application because they alleged that there was an extremely strong prosecution case supported by CCTV and photo evidence. CCTV and photo evidence. Bro was caught in 4K? And they basically are trying to make the case that he's not just some ordinary person being tried and they don't want him to use his social media influence to impede the case. Prosecutors also showed pictures to the magistrate which were not shown in court and in reference to what these photos depicted they said across her body is a history of violent acts. We say those photos and what is alleged is beyond the pale beyond what could be considered a consensual act. Now on the other side Philly's lawyers are questioning the strength of the prosecution's case because they are claiming that the girl it could be a lot of cat though like i ain't gonna lie you come to my room at 5 30 a.m what, what is this <laughs> didn't even raise any concerns about assault during a call with her friend at 5 31 a.m now the case was you know what i'm saying adjourned for the day and he was granted conditional bail it looks really bad but i i i i, I the internet is judge, jury, and executioner for, for a fact. Any brand deals, any people that are associated with him that got money, money, they're not risking it. You're done with them. You got to start at the bottom and work your way back up. Now, of course, after the been found guilty, it's up to your friends to be cool with you again or not. But, man, I, I, I doubt it. But in those conditions are a ban on contacting his alleged victim or posting anything about this whole case to his millions of followers on social media. Now it goes without saying, but the charges don't suggest that the allegations are proven. Rather, he will now be tried in an Australian court and he is innocent until proven guilty. When these sorts of allegations come out, it almost doesn't matter to the internet. The damage is done. I mean, you go on- 100%, the damage is done. Twitter and people already bringing up old clips of Philly interacting with women. And it's like before the allegations, hardly anyone batted an eye at some of these. But now you see him getting arrested and then there's hindsight and you know, people see this with a whole different view and it goes crazy viral. Not crazy. <laughs> Choking her? No, to it kill her? Not like a choke, it was more like a, you know what I mean? What the? Yeah, that's real life. When people grab necks, like randomly, they'd like that. They'd like to do that in the bedroom. That's real life. And the little Australian girl wasn't with that. I feel like she was drunk and she came to her a realization of what she had done, and she was like, "Oh yeah, this is 2024. The check is gonna be real. That could be a possibility, and we're all gonna owe Philly an apology." Oh, yeah, yeah, see, look. Yo, okay. Monkey see, monkey do, bro. But four? He got he got charged with four? Bro? Right. Four separate people or four four times on one girl? Four times on one girl, like, you got to, that at that point, you got to start thinking about it. You let that man go in there regenerate go in there again regenerate go in there again regenerate and go in there again that's full time right i'm I, this is a question is it is, are, is that what they mean by four times right. yeah so you get the point and i mean there's no point in like showing you the other things that are floating around on twitter because that place they they are really just prepared to destroy lives yeah, innocent or guilty but the part that's going to be really crazy to watch is how other creators react or respond to these allegations are they just going to try and ignore everything and everyone until there is a verdict are they nah man i'm gonna i'm gonna go like this man this is my this is this is what i think the internet is gonna be hands down you're guilty and even after you're proven innocent or or not whatever the outcome is you're still going to be guilty some people will never mess with him again he's lost some of these brand deals it's, it's done it's cooked because to even put yourself in a situation like this it's it's a it's a massive show of of uh non-responsibility so you are cooked on that home front now your homies that's really been rocking with you they've heard they're gonna hear your side of the story and as far as being seen in the public eye, they're not going to do it. And you're going to understand because you under, you get it. You're a part of the crowd. You're going to get it. You're not, I'm not, we can't kick it in public. Don't pull out no cameras. I don't want to be seen with you, but we still cool until you're proven, until the courts say what they say. 
And if he comes up guilty, they're going to cut him off. If he comes up innocent, it'll be like normal with the people that are close to him. But if he comes up innocent and he wasn't close to certain people, he should take that as you weren't here for me anyway. So just keep that distance. Learn that lesson. Keep that distance. And if certain people reach out like, man, you you got to understand, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feed my family. Then, okay, have a conversation with them at the end of the day. Because this is not like a uh, an underage situation. You know what I'm saying? Your name won't forever have dirt on it because it's not a underage situation. Like, if you got caught, like Dutch Avelli got caught and then tried to cover it up and did all that goofy stuff, all right, you're done forever. You're cooked. But these are adult women where consent is coming into question. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and you got to understand that this is 2024. This is a bag check. But also like I said, you cannot mess with normal chicks. Ain't no picking. I don't care if they came with your homies and and they're up in your section. If you don't know them, if you look on their Instagram and they got even if they got a million followers, especially if they got a million followers, get out of there. You know what I'm saying? Go, go. Mm -mm, you in Australia, boy. Go to the red light district out there. So, do something different. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I do not care. No, no. You take the NDAs on the road and find you a, a illegal, a legal, a legal escort if there is such a thing, man. It ain't even worth all of this. Or, or. Teach you a life lesson, learn from your mistakes, and get you a, a girl that's there for you and marry her. Because this is wild. Are they going to come out and try and defend him? Are they going to try and remove his videos where he made features? What all? I heard one of his videos already gone. 20v1? Sidemen? Is that what they said? Is that what y'all said in the chat? One of the videos is gone? these brands going to do because brands are notorious for being one of the first people to come out and publicly denounce anyone for anything man because you think about people even like russell brand and how everyone dropped him when you know he was accused of sexual assault even from like 10 years ago they closed his pub down i mean even youtube removed him from the partner program so from making oh, i didn't even know that happened with him any money for allegations alone, allegations that I might add that have still not, you know, come to anything like him being charged or arrested or even amounting to any serious legal action. So if that's how they treated Russell Brand of allegations alone, how the hell are they going to treat young Philly when he's being charged and arrested? And it's not like it's going to be easy for some of these big creators to just ignore because, you know, Philly is really a big part of their content. I mean, especially the Chunks and Philly show, like that podcast has just come up. Yeah, man, he's not like a... He's not like a be in the group and collect credit and and do nothing. He's a vital part of all of this. And it's, you know, started to do really well. And now this happens. I think it really comes down to how much pressure their fans and the internet puts on them to say something. But honestly, only time will tell. And I'll make sure to keep you updated when he is scheduled to actually go back into court. But until then, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates. And I will see you very soon. This is why you got to place God first in your life, man. Because with God first, you would see all of these devils and demonic people coming. And you wouldn't even be in these type of situations. Why do you think rappers don't go to the club? They go for their appearance and they go home. Man, let me know what y'all think of this entire situation, man. I'm gone.